<laughs> it's okay. It's all right. Yeah, you, it'll grow back. No, we're get, we're talking about breaking oh. up and ways to be happy. Hold me now. It's hard for me to say I'm sorry. <laughs> that's like uh that sounded like the Bee Gees. <laughs> yeah. But it wasn't. It was uh, who are we singing there? That's Chicago. Chicago. And you got to get the Peter Cetera Hold thing. Hold me now. I really want to tell you I'm sorry. Now why would we sing that song? Because the song that I was thinking of was Breaking up is hard to do. That's How some harmony that? right there. That's, That's some good stuff. From you know where. You know from the uh, depths of your gut, yeah. your vibrato. Interestingly so, enough, <clears> one yeah. of the ways to be happy is to break up. Yeah, to be unhappy. Yeah. Sometimes you got to be truly just depths of depression, sadness, awful, unhappy to be happy because, you know, the opposition yeah. comes into play. Yeah. You know, you, you don't really know happiness until you know utter unhappiness. Now, no, we're not saying yeah. that you should just go look for really unhappy things yeah. in your life so go that you'll be jump happy. Jump off a cliff and then you'll know what it's like to have pain and unhappiness. Right. No, we're talking, but by the way, we're up here, of course, because it's beautiful. We're out in nature and it would be a great place to come and um, perhaps have the breakup Break conversation. <laughs> Maybe it wouldn't be. You know, I don't know how, how high we are above the Salt Lake Valley right now, but uh, a few thousand feet. Maybe, and you wouldn't want to send anyone off a cliff. Nah, but what uh, do to you? or Same yeah, thing. just diversity. Yeah. See, there's a really cute little uh, uh, bench over there. The breakup that has bench. a great view, and it's either a breakup or a make out bench. Or yeah, get engaged. You know, give the ring something. I'm not sure, but breakups are tough. There's no doubt oh, about yeah. it. And and if you're if you're dealing with one, if you have a recent one, 70% of straight unmarried couples do not make it a year. They break up oh within the gosh. first year. Now, that's not after marriage. No, unmarried. Unmarried, I got you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Unmarried yeah, couples. So this is like boyfriend, girlfriend, just a relationship, whether you're cohabiting or whatever. Uh, within the first year, you're 70% chance of uh, breaking up. So you know you're going to have breakups. You know that it's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, how, do, what's the, how do you get over it? That's the question. What's the best way to break free? Because if you've been in love with somebody for a long time or a short time, or maybe even if it's an actual divorce... Um, finding happiness again can be awfully tough. Yeah. Now, you are just kind of recently married. I mean, as opposed to at least, I mean, you've been married over 10 years now. Yeah, yeah. But you got married fairly late in life. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I'll th I, I go back to high school. One of the things that I think inhibited me from the fear of breaking up, well, I'm just not going to get involved with anybody. To the point where I dated so little in high school. I didn't want to take that because risk. Because you didn't, yeah. And I think that's fairly common, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. People don't afraid. want to get hurt, yeah. so they stay away, which I never understood because yeah, I don't care. Different. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, wish I was more like that in high school. I just wanted to be with, I wanted to have a girlfriend. Yeah. And if it hurt me, it hurt me because I knew there would be more. You just got to move on. So one of the tips, obviously, of getting over a breakup is to try to move on as quickly as possible. And obviously, that's easy to say and hard to do. How do you do that? Here's a big one. Do not stalk them on social media. And by stalk, I mean follow. You know, yeah. if possible, unfollow yourself from that person. Clean break. Why? Because you spend so much time on social media and it's become such an ingrained part of your essence yeah. to go and see what your girlfriend or boyfriend or whoever what they're doing if they're not with you and most yeah. of the time when you're together all of your social media posts are together anyway but it becomes a real automatic temptation so to speak to be to, if you're trying to break it off cleanly to still see what they're up to and yeah. where they've been and check their instagram okay. posts and yeah. and it's harder today i mean before social media when we were you know, of dating age and all of that stuff. It was just a point where, what do I have to do when I break up or afterwards? Never I mean, see you again. Yeah, never see you again. I, I throw away pictures if I have to. Yeah. Uh, letters, right? I mean, that was it's the easy. extent that I had to go to, to just, okay, 180 degrees, I'm going to go in the right direction, and that worked for me. And think about it. I mean, with social media, because of the things that your ex is posting, do you honestly think you're going to see anything that's going to make you happy? Yeah. The fact is, is she or he is probably posting things about their 
date last night with yeah. so-and-so yeah. and how their relationship is going with the new person yeah. Yeah. or going on a trip that you were planning together yeah. but now she is taking with her best friends even though you paid for it yeah. or whatever I'm taking pictures of the bench behind us but the both of them are on it yeah someone else is on the bench now and yeah. someone else is up at make out point yeah so kind of first tip here is to try to get over somebody is to is to stay away from them cut off all social media contact that is going to be extremely hard but it, you know it wasn't meant to be easy and if you want to get over somebody quicker the quicker you can get them out of your mind the quicker you'll get them out of your heart the second thing is uh, get up and get out and yeah. spend time with friends yeah get be, be a little selfish you know because I know that when I was in huge relationships that ended up not going well it was all about the other person and so once I broke up okay now it's all about me for a while and right? that's actually good because that's the other third tip so they both kind of work together, which is, you know, focus on yourself. Yeah. You know, um, take a class, take up a new hobby, do something that distracts you. Maybe you work on your fitness, work on your emotional or spiritual well-being. You know, you start, you start working out more. You're doing things, you're biking, you're hiking. Some of the other things we talk about in other videos. Get more active. Yeah, yeah. Get way more active. And then related to that, get out with your friends. You know, yeah. you got to have that support group of friends. The friend thing, I mean, I, I know that you've had experiences like this, you, have, you as well, where, you know, after that breakup, you've got that one friend or maybe a couple that you just go and you talk to, right? And you're going to talk to them until, I don't know, two in the morning, you have three to. in the morning. Yeah. That is so therapeutic. Absolutely. Oh. You never needed her. She was horrible. None of us liked her. You know, that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> it really does because you know <laughs> if you ever end up back with them then it, things are kind of weird so uh, if you're a friend in this situation just be supportive and be a yeah. shoulder to cry on and yeah. not necessarily you know don't be so talkative because they're the ones that really want to talk and unload you're just there as a as a sounding board exactly yeah um, so three quick <laughs> tips to get over heartbreak and to get past a long-term relationship stay away from social media don't follow them on any of their feeds Get out and be with your friends and look for the support of loved ones, friends, family. Spend more time with family. Find time to be with family. Get up and get out into a beautiful place like this. Yeah. Catch the views. Go hiking. Do something for yourself. Work on your fitness. Yeah. Go back to school. Yeah. yeah, lots of stuff. Learn macrame. It's not as bad as you think. Just think about some of the famous breakups. I've got three famous breakups for Let's you. Let's hear them as we close. All right, number one. Uh, Charles and now, Lady Is this number die. three or this number one? number three. Sorry, number three. But, Charles but, and Lady Di. That's a tough one because I'm not British. He did not deserve her <laughs> at all. <laughs> I don't know. Bad. That was my first he, But yeah, but he's the man who will be king, you know, yeah, kind of a thing. True. So who deserved that's whom? True. I don't know. Right. Yeah, that was a weird But you're right. I mean, you can't be all bouncing around being all unfaithful. That's not good. All right, who else? I like my second one even better. Van Halen. The break Wow, look yeah. at you. David Lee Roth going on his way and then the band of Sammy cool thing about that Hagar. breakup yeah Sammy Hagar and it's like two different groups I love the Lee Roth things. yes of course and the Hagar oh! things are great as well oh! you know, they just have can you do the high oh, David Lee Roth it's so high I can't. it's otherworldly yeah. but Sammy had his yeah the Sammy yeah. Hagar face definitely was. Yeah, I don't good. think he I don't even think Sammy's still with him now is he I don't think so he's I've been seeing ads for his 70th birthday party down at Cabo <laughs> Wabo so I, I think he can still hit some of the notes, but not all of them. <laughs> Number one breakup. Number one breakup. The uh, Revolutionary War. Making that break from England. Sorry to offend or make you uh, Brits feel a little uncomfortable, but that I was... I think they were happy with it, too, to They be were happy with it because it was not going well. For they, them I think they celebrate the 4th of July as well because it was their independence from the king and all of that yeah. as well when America set up a democratic deal and, yeah. you know, we're all sort of... That's a good one, though. That's I, was, I thought you were going to maybe go with Ross and Rachel. Never got into or Luke and Laura. Did Luke and Laura ever break up? I don't know. I just they were a great couple together. Yeah, it was. That's beautiful. All right. Well, stay happy. Be happy. And uh, for heaven's sakes, be happy and stay happy. Yeah. And if you can't do that, <laughs> then then be happy. Then break up. And stay happy. Oh yeah. yeah, break it up. Yeah. Don't say break it up. That's a foreigner song. Check that one out. They never broke up. Actually, no. they did. Sad. We'll see you next time. There's been a lot of great breakups through history. Uh, Jeff mentioned a couple there, historical, musical bands, actual couples. Uh, have you ever broken up? Yeah. How did you mend yourself 
uh, quickly and effectively. Yeah. Comment on it. Comment, that. let us know. I'm curious. We just mentioned three ways, but there might be other ways for that to happen. Like us or not, like us anyway.